英語の発音の練習に来ました。Long time no see. Hello everyone. This is Kiki George. Today I introduce this book and I'll read several articles in this book and this is enlarged copies. Japan must unite and engage in historical warfare. 2015, April. Japan should stop apologizing and providing money and should support historical warfare in a logical way. Japanese people lack the awareness the majority of the world is still a society of braves, as shown by the International Federation of Association Football People Corruption Scandal. It's only natural for people to receive money and goods and then make decisions according to the will of the party that made the payment. I suspect the UNESCO staff received a fair amount of funds for their recent decision. The competition between Japan and China over the Indonesian high speed rail ended in Chinese victory. Japan had the culture of abling bravery and other forms of cheating. But I suspect that China offered multiple bribes in the cream version. I visited Bing An a village in southern Vietnam last year and saw a memorial that says approximately 1,000 1, villagers were slaughtered by the South Korean army during the Vietnam War. Many Vietnamese are still angry at South Korea, but the government said nothing. According to my guide, my reading is that the two governments are drinking tea together. In other words, Vietnam is receiving bribes from South Korea financial conglomerate. Japan is unable to use bribery in this world, which is why I think we should pay legitimate Remuneration to marketing companies as a way to freely insist upon the truth. Today, battles between different nations don't involve the exchange of gunfire, but are being transformed in the information strategy warfare. China and South Korea are attacking Japan by information strategies in fight over history. Up until now, Japan had responded to this historical warfare by repeatedly apologizing for things that didn't happen and paying money. These apologies and monetary payment had been used as proof by the other party that those first foods are true, and Japan had been steadily, steadily living in the corner. Japan is an earnest country that cannot pay bribes, so it has uh, continually been the vanquished party in this information strategy warfare. The concept of theoretical modern history is what could end the state of affairs. We should logically verify history to see if it's probable or not. Impossible claims should be refuted by the Ministry of Information and Marketing Companies to force the uh, retraction of incorrect information. Japan must first abstract the inscription of the Kampol women on the International Memory of the World Register and construction of more Kampol women statues. The Japanese government and the media should join together to oppose these conflicts regarding first history. The first Nanki Mashiro story is painted in no historical textbooks except the one published by Jiusha, a circumstance that China takes advantage of. Japan still conducts education 
that makes its citizens feel ashamed to have been born as Japanese people. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe gave a wonderful statement on the 70th anniversary of the end of the war. I hope the Abe administration will seek for historical truth and strongly assert that false truths are untrue so that we can make a statement with even more correct information on the 75th anniversary. Then Japan should be made into a country that can be decently evaluated on a global stage. Thank you. Bye-bye.